How you doing, Richie? It's been a long, long time, Brohim. Yeah. Have a seat. You want anything? No. I'm good. So you, uh, you like farm life? Milking cows and shit? I don't live on a farm. Fogarty said you lived on some kind of farm. He said he thought he could smell pig. How that old fuck knows what pig smells like, I don't know, but it's what he said. Do you like being married? What? I said, do you like being married? Does it work for you? I can't see it working for me. I mean, there's a lot of great looking women in the world and I just never met one that can make me forget about all the rest. I mean, sure, you could fool around and whatnot, but it's so much work trying to cover that up. It's like, I just don't see the upside. You see the upside, Joey? Yeah, Richie. I do now. I'm pretty pissed at you, Brohim. You could have called, you could have dropped a postcard in the mail. We're brothers. What'd you think would have happened? I thought business would come first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, but Joey, what else was I supposed to do? You bust up a made man's place. You killed a few of his guys. You took his eye. Jesus, Joey, you took his eye. Barbed wire, was it? That's disgusting. You always were the crazy one. Not anymore. Yeah, I heard. You're living the American dream now. And you really bought into it, didn't you? You've been this other guy almost as long as you've been yourself. Hey, when you dream, are you still Joey? Joey's been dead a long time. And yet here you sit, big as life. You know, you cost me a lot of time and money, Joey. Before you pulled that shit with Fogarty, I was a shoe in to take over when the boss croaks. A shoe in It was made very clear to me that nothing was gonna happen for me until I cleaned up your mess. You cost me, Joey. A hell of a lot. A hell of a lot. It looks like you're doing pretty good here, Rich, so. I am, I am. I'm still behind the eight ball because of you. There's a certain lack of respect, certain lack of trust. The boys in Boston are just waiting for me to go down. You always were a problem for me, Joey. <laughs> you know, when, when Ma brought you home from the hospital, I tried to strangle you in your crib. I guess all kids try and do that. She caught me, whacked the daylights out of me. I've heard that story. Well, what do you think? Better late than never? Richie, I just came here to make peace. Just tell me what I gotta do to make things right. You can do something, I guess. You could die, Joey.